Jason Carter, Network 23. Network 23, are you receiving me? Shit. This is Network 23. Intermittent device loss. Edison Carter to Network 23. Come on, clear this link. Network 23 to Edison Carter. Okay, we have the link strong and clear. Your show goes live in two minutes. Your controller is Gorister. Thank you, 23. Hello, Gorister. Gorister here, Edison. Right, now you're above the incident. Send and I'll guide you once clear of the chopper. By the way, you've got competition. There's quite a scene down there. How long before I'm on air? You've got 30 seconds. We'll make it. This is Network 23. This is Network 23. The network that means business now transmitting live to the world. The award-winning Edison Carter on the What I Want to Know show. One, go. This is Edison Carter asking the questions you want answered. Right now, what I want to know is this. Just what happened in apartment 42 in the last 60 minutes? What I want to know is, who is depressing the story? What is it somebody doesn't want us to know? Come with me, live and right now. Let's go and get some answers. All right, Control, I'm going in. Of course, do we have an update? All we have is it's an explosion and that the area is sealed off to all but residents. Okay, cut to the eyewitness. Three, two, one, go. Well, there's reporters and metro police everywhere. There was an awful noise and a woman come running out. They took her off. Hello. Nobody will tell us why we've got to stay indoors. All right, Control, I'm getting out of the chopper now. Okay, from your position, go north 300. Building 84B. The security on the main door, so I'll take you in on the east side. I'm cutting off time code. Okay, control. I want you to turn right. Okay, Edison, there's an intersection ahead. Go upstairs, and it's on the second floor. Number 42. You got any update on that? Apparently the wife's been hospitalized. Yes. But Carter's right at the sea. What? We're just about to go out on air. I want authority. Pull Carter out. Just pull him out. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Edison. This man say through here we no go. It's typical. First time ever we get to a story before you. Control has pulled us out. Gorister. Gorister, I'm calling you on the link. How come this story is pulled? It's just come down to Murray. I'm not dropping this one, Gorister. Something smells. I'm gonna go around the back and see if I can access a window. Edison, it's pulled. Come on in. Gorister. Gorister! Gorister, you maniac! You... Oh, I don't believe it! Gorister, I'm in... Gorister! You do not leave me or anybody exposed out there. Hey, Edison, what's the problem? Easy. The problem is I almost got killed. The job was pulled. I pulled you in. You cut me off. And no job is over until I am back at base, you lethal idiot. Edison, come over. Don't leave this prima donna crap. Not even from the great Edison. Bloody Carter. Get him off me, Murray. It's my ass out there, not his. 
Now look, you just give me a controller who can do the job. I just want somebody who can keep me alive out there, the best. Okay, okay. The best. Listen, Edison, I was out there once, I know how you feel, but it stops there. Still not regained contact with Edison Carter. It's big, isn't it? I don't know. It was pulled from high up. Very high. We've succeeded in pulling Edison Carter off air, Mr. Grossman. Mm, yes, fortunately, your instructions were carried out in time. Turning now to ratings, we have every cause for satisfaction. Overnight ratings, channel 23. Low, 115 million, high, 236 million, which keeps us top network. Projections for the next hour are excellent. Let's move to the blipbird problem. We may have to suspend the use of blip advertisements temporarily. There have been, as you know, these side effects on viewers. However, returning to conventional 30-second advertisements will once again give viewers time to switch channels with the consequent dip in our ratings. The very thing that Bryce designed blip to prevent. The Zigzag Corporation are very keen to press ahead, buying airtime using our blip -verts. Right now, we are the only network that have blip -verts. Unless we use them, Zigzag might deal with our competitors. I do not intend to lose our major client. There's probably no connection with blipverts. The good heavens, isolated instances of this phenomenon have occurred throughout history. People do sort of blow up, spontaneously combust, you know. No, I don't. We need some more informed opinion on the matter. So I have asked Bryce to meet us on the video link. Now he's our top man. I wanted to leave him absolutely to me. The head of research and development on the link, sir. Hello there, Bryce. I need to talk to you about... I'm rather you. busy. I succeeded in computer generating a parrot on the screen. Oh, my congratulations. Whatever next. It squawks. <laughs> um, I wonder if you could find time to uh, illustrate to the board here this little hitch we have on your blipverts. Put simply, the human body has millions of nerve endings. Each carries an electrical charge, individually very tiny, but in combination surprisingly large. Normally people burn it off, but in inactive people it just builds up. Now because I designed Blipverts to compress 30 seconds of advertising information into three seconds, it appears the brain violently stimulates these nerve endings simultaneously. In some subjects, it causes a short circuit. Some particularly slothful, perpetual viewers literally explode. As simple as that. I've got rather a good example of one on this Rebus tape. Oh. Oh. It won't be so damn simple when Blipverts go global. Look here, the only people who are that inactive are pensioners, the sick, or the unemployed. I take it that your rebus tape is in an extremely safe place? Of course. But look, it's not my problem. My brief was to find a way to stop channel switching. I mean, you know, I only invent the bomb. I don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> we think it might affect sales if... Uh people begin to suspect. Uh, well, don't tell them then. Unfortunately, one of our reporters may have got quite near the truth. We have to be very careful. Well, fire him. We could always kill him. You can't just smash a window in. Holy shit, it's a murder. Laura, I'm putting you with Edison Carter. He's the best we have at Network 23. A bit volatile, but good. Yes, I heard. Uh, what was the story he was pulled out of? Ah, hi, Edison. This is Theora Jones. I've managed to prize her away from World One. I've warned her you're a charmer. Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, how's the head? It's fine. How's yours? Right, where do you want to start? No trouble, or I stop your pocket money. You know the rules. Yes, we do. What do you say we start by breaking one? See what you can get on this rash of reporters being pulled off hot stories for no reason. Edison, 
sort of uh, access the inaccessible? Edison, leave it! Now back off, I mean it. Christ, after the kind of material you normally bring in, what's so special about some microwave oven going pop? Oh, come on, Marie. Since when did people guard exploded microwaves? Right, let's have a go. Hey, there's no way through there. That's the executive level. I know. Let's try up through the plumbing system, from a lower level where there's no security block. How the hell? I accessed the security systems Mr. Carter asked. This place is about as inaccessible as I can get. I'll leave you two together. All right, Theora, what do you got on the line apart from the dirty pictures? Um, there's a missile missing from AKG. Oh, that's hot. Don't see that? Uh -uh. Oh, an assassination of a whole medic team in Bolivia. Mm. How about that one? Give it to Joe. Bryce is a problem. Now he's onto this computer generating people business. He doesn't want to know about flippers. And we must keep him on air then. If unless Bryce can sort out their affair, we simply can't use them. You've seen the Reaper's tape, it's just terrifying. We have no choice. We're committed to the campaign. And the Zigzag Corporation's advertising contract with us is massive. Massive or not, if this gets out, Network 23 is in serious trouble. We we're too damn close to the truth twice already. If you were to run that again, that last bit. Network 23 is in serious trouble. We got too damn close to the truth twice already. Did they now? What's that crew doing on the roof? Um, well, apparently they're covering Ben Chevitt's departure to New Tokyo to sign this big zigzag contract. This promises to be one of the most momentous meetings in the history of telecommunications. Well, I, perhaps I should say the history of communications as well. And we're looking forward to a long and happy association. I'm sorry, Mr. Chevy, we have a camera problem. Can we do that again, please? We've always felt that the viewers are the most important hey, people. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? This is my What's story. Want to back at control, I'll handle this one. Okay, Mr. Cowd, it's all yours. I understand, sir, you're off to New Tokyo to finalize the zigzag contract? Uh, well, uh, yes. This will be a major partnership between Network 23... What's the Blipford problem? Good God, man, this is completely out Too of order. Too damn close. Twice already. Hey, Mr. Cheviot. The problem is whether I can trust you. You see, we've just heard that... I don't know how much of that you got, Control. Are you busy tonight? Maybe all night. Mr. Carter, we hardly know each other. A rebus. Um, I think that's a kind of puzzle. Mysterious pictures. Pictures. All right, where am I relative to your control? You're five floors above me. I'm getting all clear on the security system. Hang on, Edison. Just a few moments. Okay, hold your position. Stand by. We have the level. Got a problem. I'm at the entrance, but I need the code. I know, I can see you. Right, now it's Bryce Lynch. And that's 7, 10, 88. Oh, Libra might have guessed. Um, okay, try BZ2UH. Uh, no? Try again. How about 1J2FI?
Yes, sir. Of course, there'll be the usual expenses. We can do that. Yes, sir. Got a nice accident, then? It's the parrot man again. Another one? He must eat them by the dozen. Where are we going to get one at this time of night? Squawk! Not a parrot. A nasty little burglar. To be cornered. And perhaps hit. And how about the playback unit? What do you say? Try the playback unit. How do you know? Tell me a kid that ever puts things away. Even clever ones. I know all about little boys. Yeah, I just bet you do. Camera check, please. I'm getting you out of there. Move. What's the problem, Control? Intruders. Two. They activated the alarm in the elevator. By the way, they're armed. Oh, great. Any idea who they are? No, but they're outsiders, not network men. Is this a change of plan, Control? No change. I'm standing by on the basement camera. This is level six. We're going up. Look, I don't want to be difficult, but... Going the wrong way. 126 coming up. If those guys are out there. Okay, go ahead. Go left. Four way intersection. Do not cross the intersection until command. Okay, go. and there's somebody else in the system.
quick! The van! He smashed my bike. We made a deal, Mr. Boigle. Why? He saw the Rebus tape. He's the best known reporter on air. His show is top rating prime time. He satellites globally. And he saw the tape, Mr. Grossman. You know what you're saying, Bryce. I run a television network, Bryce. Not a goddamn hit squad. He's quite rational. Keep Carter on ice in the cryogenic unit. On ice? Meanwhile, his reports keep coming in for a while, so no one will question his sudden disappearance. Uh, Bryce, I don't want to appear ungrateful, but how do we keep his reports coming in, huh? A seance? No. <laughs> I compute the physical characteristics of his head. Then I print his memory, his synaptic circuits. His synaptic circuits? His mind, you know. The brain is only a binary computer, a series of on-off switches. Then, Mr. Grossman, I can generate this man onto the screen from my computer. He'll be able to continue his program, and no one will know. But he will, in fact, be computer-generated. Just like the parrot. The parrot. Ah! Yes, supervisor, please. Supervisor? Yeah, I'm tracing Mr. E. Carter. That's Edison Carter. Ident number? Um, personal ident code 74928B DG6629. Incident? Yeah, auto accident, section 5, area 23. No, we have nobody answering that description. This coffee stinks. Stinks, odorous, pungent, offensive, offense. The guilty party will be reported to network president, Mr. Grossman. This is an automatic complaint system.
can dump down all the information in the mind and replay it at will. Then I can eliminate any information I don't want. My power to squawk is in much the same way. But my research funds must not be starved. I have to have time and money. Do you ever sleep, Bryce? Only physically. <laughs> for the moment, the computer pie is only enough to generate a human head and too many coordinates for the rest of the body, which naturally won't be needed. This is the future. People translated as data. Does this thing reproduce him as a reporter is all that I'm concerned about. This whole situation is becoming very disturbing. These circuits are randomizing a little. It'll settle, though. I need more time on the recall generator. It's bouncing. It takes a while for the frame store to read out all the information. Max Headroom? God damn it! Get that babbling clown off the screen! Kill it! What kind of a screw-up is this? This is a joke, Bryce. Leave it alone! Don't you dare touch him! Him? This junk is a machine. This is not Edison Carter. It is a computer-generated geek. It is useless. Do you understand me? I understand your opinion, Mr. Grossman. Then understand this. You abandon that garbage, you apply this unit to the crucial matter of the blipvert problem. I want that resolved, and I want it fast. This parrot project terminates now. Perhaps you don't understand the potential of this development. I understand the potential of this situation. This electronic oaf has a record of what Carter saw on the Rebus tape. Smash it. Carter here has the same information. However, reluctantly, we must somehow get rid of him. I do so hate wasting an employee. I'll have Bruegel and Marla handle it. They relish performing good works. I don't like that Mr. Bryce. The little shit's too clean. Gives me the creeps. Cleanliness is next to godliness. That young man's got some brain on him. Be worth a bob or two. Not a great pair, our Mr. Bryce. Nice head, though. Is the body still alive? <sighs> He's a bit alive. Nasty knocking head, that. Hands are rare and expensive items. Worth more than cameras. Luddite. Nightingale body bag, priority red, urgent requirement, male right leg, condition upper body and material, suit decapitation victim. That's it. They're short at Nightingale's. Mr. Bryce didn't say kill him, did he? No. Nah. But he did say get rid of him, though. Okay, Naz. What's the bonus for a live brain dead body? Diagnosis. Clinical brain death only carries 20 points. Yeah, yeah, but he's still warm. There's got to be value in that. There is. 20 points. Goodbye. <laughs> Bring bang on that one. Cheers, folks. Live on arrival. Very tasty angle, that. Opens up possibilities. What are we going to do with Mr. Bryce's little toy here? Well, he said he wanted it safe. And he wanted it in good hands until he needed it. He did, yeah. He said that. Right. Right. 
wonderful. You were tuned into the Wired Society. This is big time television. Day after day, making tomorrow seem like yesterday. You know, we said uh, there's no future. Well, this is it. This is Blank Reg talking to the Blank Generation. Hot and live from big time television. Reg. And next up, more of the same. Reg. Shh. Have a nice day. What's up? What is a cross-hatch generator? I don't know. We've been billed for one. Oh, yeah. Oh, they stick anything down. I think it was some bent uh, cabling gear that Poncho slipped. Reggie, darling, how do you expect me to run my business like this? Hmm? You don't help, you know. Oh, they were cheap. I mean, why don't you just write in money in, money out, and leave it at that? And if the credit terminal wants to see the figures, what do I do, huh? Just wave the back of an old envelope at them? Right. You smoke too much, Dom. Reg, if you didn't nail your jeans to the floor every night, they'd escape, so don't talk to me about personal habits. We have just got to find something better than those bloody old video clips. Dom! Just because they're free doesn't mean to say they're good, you know. I like them. Private Reg. Nice to see you, Reg. We have got something for you. Very special bit of gear. Yeah. You being an expert. <laughs> Just press this white button here and uh, key things in. Things? What the bloody hell is it? Actually, it's the red button. No, it's the white. But you've got to plug it in anyway, Reg. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never have known that. How much? Oh, well. Hello, Marla here. Can I? Mr. Bruegel? Nightingale's here. That body you sold us has taken a while. Uh, sorry, Reg. Bit of business. Uh, talk about the transaction later, eh? Try the goods first sort of thing. Hey, hey, leave it. <coughs> we have got a deconvenience. Still be at the body bank. Oh, it's gonna cost us this is. Have 
seen a blown man with a camera? Excuse me, uh, have you seen a man in a gown carrying a camera? He's escaped from the body bag. Thank you very much. A bright broadcasting good morning television. First up, Dr. Duncan at dawn, the video symptom show. Dr. Duncan, I was suffering from a dreadful anal pustule, and it's giving me absolute agony. Just pop the old buttocks against the lens, would you? Uh, Edison, Edison, for God's sake, where are you? Keep transmitting, I'm locating you. Morning. I need your address. I'm in bad shape. Hello. Nice to have you visit. Please enter code. And while you were out, these were your messages. Enjoy them all on this cassette. Remember? And... And the classic... Plus many, many more on Digital Watch Tunes Volume 2. Available now from ZigZag. Hello there. Call this number and find out what an incredibly nice guy God is. He won't keep you waiting on the line. He won't hang up on you. He's sitting by... My God, what happened? You don't even know what it is. It could be anything. It might even be a bomb. Look. What did it cost, Reg? It's free. If it doesn't work, we throw it back. If it doesn't work, I what? I can't afford even decent programs, let alone a cross patch rotavator thing, or whatever it's called. Geronimo! Go on. Go on. This is live and direct. Murray, Murray, what, Murray, what, 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 it's speaking to us. Your pardon. You your pardon. something. Your pardon. Uh, talk to it. Mm. Hello, mate. I'm Reg. This is my partner, Dominique. Big, big, big t -t -t time. Hi. Both of you. Welcome to, 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 to big time. You want to check these ratings? They seem to have an audience of two. Great. Terrific. Where'd they get this? 
Hey, what's it for? Hello, and welcome to Big Time Television, live and direct. It's Big Time Television, the station where two's company and three's an audience. Where does he get all this from, Reg? And, and, data. 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 Chaos is not helpful. Please be seated. Ben, what exactly have the Zigzag Corporation said? The whole campaign is organized around the use of our blipverts to prevent channel switching. No blipverts, no deals. This contract is huge. We can't just reject a transglobal campaign. We cannot withdraw blipverts now. We can't go on using them. They're lethal, goddammit. That is not proved. That tape wasn't proof. What the hell do you need? A live demonstration? As well. I find that tasteless. It is very clear. The blipvert is a brilliant breakthrough. Half a minute of advertising in three seconds. It's magnificent. It is. It's also killing people. We buried that kind of crap decades ago. I am not prepared to risk my network over it. Ben, I am talking ratings. And I'm talking people. Same thing. We must come clean on this. If you won't, then I will. Well, there was a connection loose on uh, one of the tubes, which I fixed. But we still have nothing from the other night. Can you remember anything? Uh, not a thing except bits. I remember Bryce's lab and the barrier arm and some weird noises like voices. I think it was Bryce and somebody. And some creep standing over me with a scalpel in a body bank. Body banks are for dead people. Yeah. And whoever was in the system the other night certainly knew what they were doing. I nearly lost you. No, you're going to get the chance to lose me again tonight because I'm going to go back to Bryce's studio. Edison, are you fit enough? Okay, I'm going back into 23 and you'll need some clothes. With me, just one piece. I won't explain. Just stay tuned the big time. More later. More later. Later. More later. Yes, of course. I'll prepare the contract immediately. Thank you so much. Uh, goodbye. Hey! Reg, come in quick! What's up? We've got a client! Some TV repairer. I think so, thingy, and there is perfect for them. They love it. It goes on the blink too much. But that's just the point. They want to use that. More later. More big time television. television. Ratings 1000. Ratings 1000. What am I supposed to get? Stage fright? Reg, oh. this is incredible. What I want to know is. Over a thousand viewers. You might get paid this month. What the hell is that? His ratings? Max, Max You're kidding. Well, why not? Max Headroom, 2.3 million. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Max Headroom. He could have his own show. Big time. This is Max Headroom on big time television. And what I want to know is, don't Eskimos ever get bored with their weather forecast? Max. It's Max. Max, Max it's on big time. Amazing. And what amazing. I want to know is, if you're all watching me, Who's watching Network 23? A network with a great future behind it. As they say, when you're buying suppositories with friends like those, who needs enemas? And when Go for it, Max. Running away from a lion, you son of a bitch. So Go for it. We'll get the car phone fixed. Probably just a growth microchip. Mr. Bryce. You were supposed to come back and report. I should have had no need to call you on the view phone. Well, uh, my mum wasn't feeling too good and we just popped round to see her. You did exactly as I asked. Oh, to the letter. One got rid of and the other locked away. Good. Locked away. I admire the clarity and precision of your response. Perhaps, therefore, you could clearly and precisely explain this. Big time television. Does the Chinese really have 30 different ways of saying a simple little word? And is that why their population is so. Very like that other bloke. Film of them, is it, Mr. Bryce? It is very like that other bloke. 
and it is not a film. That Mr. Marlowe is a complete person. And that machine is the coded mind of the dead Mr. Carter. Soon I will be able to reconstruct anybody on a screen. Even you, Mr. Marlowe. So accurately that even your own mum would know it was you. I might care to call it the Phoenix, Mr. Bryce. My word. You could have all your politicians in little boxes. It's very handy. Now, Mr. Boigle, where is big time television? We could move up the Polly show, pull in an extra episode, oh, and get good. the standby we'll have a show vacuum online. By midnight. We could rerun the Rat Killers, it went megabucks last global. We could go porno early. What do the analysts say, Ben? What actually did it? It's only 2%. 2% is 26 million consumers, Ben. Once they start switching channels, it's war. You know that. It happens all the time. We're used to it. But if people are still running blipverts instead of regular adverts, there wouldn't be any channel switching. Blipverts have only been off the air 10 hours, and already the ratings are 3.7% down, Ben. Not the 2% you suggest. I'm going to reinstate blipverts. And that's final. More class. Reggie, I take it all back. You are brilliant. <laughs> this max thing will keep you in beer tokens forevermore. I'm starving. Now I'm going to micro some uh, alphabet spaghetti lettuce and tomato sauce. You want some? Good thing. This max has got a weird facility. His data store is huge, right? So he can access a lot of info, right? Clear the command and away with the mixer. Hmm? But he just doesn't build data, you know. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. He jumps. And it's not just information. It's like intuition. Oh, Reggie, darling. It's only just a bloody old voice box with a load of bites. Root it and off it goes. <laughs> it's just other people's phrases it uses. And how come he's got a sense of humour? Something very bent here. Those two goons having Max. Not in their league. Doesn't add up, Don. It adds up on my figures. Max is making this station. Well, what if the real owner wants him back? Well, for my dead body. It might be. I'm going to put the wheels of the bus back on, just in case. Okay, Bryce. Let's start with the other night. Give me a graphic. Well, we're holding. It's okay, we've steadied. 28 and 42 have taken a dive. Get analysis on this. <sighs> that was unpleasant. Not half as unpleasant as it's going to be when the blip birds have their ultimate effect. Somebody, sometime, is going to make the connection. Hey, look at this. That climb is exponential. Uh, the figures are minute, down in the thousands. Let's take a look anyway. They may have something worth chasing. You know, I understand why people prefer watching television to the radio. They've worked out how boring it is watching the radio. And this is Max Hedrum on Big Time. I had to spend a little time recently with a parrot. It's true. I won't tell you why, but what amazes me is why anybody would want to spend any time at all sitting at home teaching a bird to talk. I mean, what's wrong with the rest of the family, huh? And of course they teach it something really interesting, like, who's a pretty boy? <laughs> what I want Get to know is if caviar right. is a rich man's food... And you left him, like this. Now, Bryce. <laughs> Where is it? That pirate station. I think it is and Carter might have it. Carter? But you told me he was... Who did this to you? Carter. How do we find him? How? Damn it! Boy, Glamala. They know. But it is a significant distance. Oh, how much? Oh, I should think of... At speed, it'll be much fuel. 
thank you very much. Destructions are delight. Delight our greatest sorrow. Seven little girls sitting in the back seat, everyone in love with Fred. I said, my well, old one of you come up and sit beside me. This is what the little girl said all together now. One, two, three. Keep your mind on your drive and keep your hands on the wheel. Keep your snooty eyes on the road. Dark head. Oh, look. We have fun sitting in the back seat, hugging and kissing with Fred. <laughs> Okay, we're here. Close the doors, lad. Hey! Do you for the body bank? Don't move. You're not going anywhere. Murray, you getting all this? You realize what this means? Do you want to transmit? It'll never happen, Carter. They won't transmit it. What do I do, Ben? Do what you have to, Murray. Okay. We interrupt this program for a special news flash. For the details, over now live and direct to Edison Carter. Mr. Grossman. Head of Network 23. You're going to tell me exactly what I want to know about Blipfords. The whole story. The world is watching live and now on Network 23. Tell me, sir. When did you first learn that blipverts caused people to spontaneously explode? Well, I learned from colleagues. Parents are only one rung above politicians, though. You always know when they're lying. Their lips move. Ha, 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 ha.